Hi, my name's David, and I've created a playlist on how to sign up to Descara, set up Descara books, and how to use it. In this video, I'll be showing you how to sign up, create users, assign roles, and set up two-factor authentication. So let's get started. So let's first put in our email address in here, and let's click Start 15-Day Trial. Inside here, you're going to put your name, your company, your password, and you can click continue. Then you can decide do you want to input your credit card or not. If you don't want to, you just toggle it off and then can click start my trial. Now it's asking you to verify your email address. We have sent an email to david.mcgoldrick plus demo2021 at discare.com. If you don't see it, please check your spam folder. All right, so let's go verify that email. So let's click on wherever you receive your emails. And then after you open up the verify email, you'll see this. You need to verify your email address. So we just click here, verify your email address. And it says here, email verification successful. And then we can click here, log in. And then we can sign in again, or it'll automatically redirect you to your account. Inside here, we can go to Books, CRM, People, Shop, Report Builder, Document Builder, and Workflow Engine. If I go check on the left-hand side, I can see the dashboard and also User Management. So let's click on User Management. Inside here is where I can add additional users. So let's create a user by clicking Add User. Inside here, I can input the first name, last name, the email address, and then I can select which product she should have access to, for example, Descara Books. Inside here, I have a choice of guest user or paid. So, for example, if I choose paid, I can select auditor, buy and sell, accounting, admin. If I choose guest, I can select buy and sell or auditor. So, if I select buy and sell, I can see all the modules she has access to. And then I can start deactivating or activating them based upon my requirements. For example, I can remove tax, import, export assets, user management, account, accounting, bank, reports, pick, pack, ship, and maybe sell. For example, I only want her to be able to create buy transactions, products, contacts, and be able to see the inventory and access it. After that, I can click save. And the user has been added. Next, let's click on security and let's enable two-factor authentication. Inside here, it says you need to scan the code using Descara mobile app from your mobile and enter the OTP or one-time password and then click the button to proceed. So let's go to the mobile phone and inside here, I've downloaded the Descara mobile app. Let's click it. Next, let's click Let's Get Started. Now inside here, let's continue with email and let's input the email address. Let's input the password and let's click sign in. Next, let's click the bottom left icon that looks like a person and let's click 2FA. Let's click the plus sign and let's scan the code. Now you can see that we have the code. Let's enter it in here. And let's click register with 2FA. Inside here we have the two-factor authentication recovery codes. We can copy them and I recommend pasting them somewhere and keeping them safe. So just in case you lose your phone or something happens, you're still able to log in and we can click finish. Now our two-factor authentication has been enabled. Let's go test it out. So let's log out. Let's put in your email and password and sign on in. After that, it requires an OTP code, a one-time password. So let's go to our mobile phone, click on the mobile app.
click on the person icon, click on 2FA, and we can see the code here. So let's go back and type in the one-time password. And click Submit. And we're signed in. And quickly, I just want to mention that under Settings, this is where you can update your company name. This is where you can update your custom domain setup for your help center for CRM. Your custom domain setup for your web page for your website builder. And under company settings, this is where you can delete your company, delete your account, or reset your company. So if you want to reset it, and it'll go back to its default, then you can click reset company here. Please take note this affects books, CRM, and people. All right, so you've learned how to sign up, create users, assign roles, and set up two-factor authentication. In the next video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a company in Descara Books and update the Descara Books settings.